Hey, what's up? Welcome back. It's your boy Serrano. Hope all as well. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Yumadigi A15 right here on the left up against the Yumadigi A15 Pro 5G. So we're going to do, be doing a comparison. We're going to be comparing, you know, everything that you're going to be getting with these devices. So make sure you guys stay locked into the end of the video because we're going to be going through all the features and talking about the display, the build quality, as well as the overall performance and the battery. And if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through. If you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. All right, so basically when it comes to both of these devices, you are gonna be getting a similar experience when it comes to what you're getting inside. So you do get your user manual for both of these devices. You're also going to be getting a case which comes with both devices. Now the A15 is gonna offer 18 watts fast charging with the brick included, as well as the type C to a type A cable. And so this is going to be actually pretty cool because you could charge up pretty quickly on this device. And this actually is the type A to type C cable. So, you know, it's going to give you 18 watts fast charging when it comes to the overall speeds on here. And so the cable that they provided on the Umidigi A15 Pro 5G is going to offer you the type C to type C cable with the 33 watts fast charging brick inside. Now, when it comes to the weight of both of these devices, they're both around 200 grams of weight. So we actually do get a similar um, weight when it comes to holding both of these devices. So, you know, we're, we're going to get some, you know, 195 grams on the A15, 199 grams of weight on the A15 Pro 5G. And so when it comes to the displays, that we're getting, you know, there is a big difference that I wanted to jump into, but let's just jump into the overall build quality. Now, when it comes to both of these cases, you can see that the A15 has a smoky color to it, whereas the Umidigi A15 Pro 5G is gonna have the clear case. And so they're both gonna give you really good protection because I did drop both of these devices with the cases on and I didn't have any damages whatsoever. Now, as far as the overall design, you can see we both have triple disc cameras on back on both of these devices. So you can see the Umidigi A15 Pro 5G will have, they'll both have that glossy material next to the camera, like in that rectangle. So you can see that you do get like a nice, um, you know, kind of a reflection on the A15 and then the Umidigi A15 Pro 5G is just that um, glossy material, which is gonna also look pretty good. So you also do get this matte material on, on the Umidigi A15 Pro 5G and also an, a nice matte material on the A15. It's a little bit more matted out on the A15 Pro though. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Then on the side of both of these devices, you will get your volume rockers as well as the power button beneath it. Um, if you turn it to the top, you can see that the A15 has a headphone jack up at the top of the device, whereas the Umidigi A15 Pro is going to have an IR blaster at the top, which is definitely cool because it controls all my electronics. And then we do get a microphone on both on the top, but the Umidigi A15 Pro 5G is going to have a speaker up there too. And then we both get the, you know, we do get the SIM remover tray down here on the Umidigi A15 Pro. 5G and then you can see they both have microphones type C and um, you know speakers down there and then on the left side of the a15 you will get your sim remover slot right there and they both will have a hotkey which will give you three functions long press tap one time or double tap so when it comes to the displays on both of these devices the main difference is going to be the brightness level and also the clarity and detail when it comes to comparing them. So on the A15 Pro 5G, what's really cool is that you, if you go into the settings for display, which you can find uh, when you go into the settings right here, you can go into display 
and you're going to notice you have a lot of features so you have 120 hertz refresh rate on here and then let me go into the a15 but on the let me switch sides because i have them backwards but you can see right here going into the display and that's the a15 making that noise so let me go ahead and put do not disturb on just so i don't get any more notifications so you can see right here uh the umadigi a15 pro 5g is going to have that high refresh rate 120 hertz 90 hertz and 60 and you don't have that ability to customize it but you do get the video display enhancement so you, whenever you're looking at media it's going to look a little bit more sharper on the a15 but you know you do get the ability to customize the refresh rate you also do get 900 nits peak brightness on the a15 pro and 500 nits peak brightness on the a15 so it's going to look a lot sharper and also more concentrated when it comes to the detail we also do get an amulet panel on the Umidigi a15 pro 5g now you can definitely tell the difference between the brightness when you have them laying flat and you can see right here they're both at full brightness when i'm actually laying them flat on the surface so it gets much brighter on the a15 um, pro 5g and so look at the difference when it comes to the settings so we do get hdr content when it comes to looking at the a15 pro 5g whereas we only get 1080 60 frames per second on the a15 so let's go ahead and click 2160 six uh p60 and then hdr on here and then the 1080p on here and let's just look at the difference now you can see both displays right here running the content and they don't have any issues streaming the content you can see the a15 pro uh, 5g is stream streaming the 2160p 60 frames per second very well and the umidigi a15 is also streaming the 1080 uh, P uh, 60 frames per second as well, but you can see that the colors are much brighter when it comes to the viewing experience that you're getting on the A15 Pro 5G. So I just want to mention that it's going to be a lot brighter, especially when it comes to outdoor environments and looking at the viewing angles. But I wanted you guys to hear the difference when it comes to the microphones. Um, when, it, when I put the microphone to the speakers, on both of these devices. So let me do a quick microphone test. So that's the A15 Pro. And that was the A15 uh, from Umidigi. So I definitely think the performance is gonna be really good on both. I'm gonna clear out all the apps. Then we're gonna go into storage so I can show you how much storage we're getting on both of these devices. It's 256 running um, of storage on both of these devices. And then you're actually getting eight gigabytes of RAM on the A15 and 12 gigabytes of RAM on the you know um umidigi a15 pro 5g so if i go into the memory expansion you can see we do get 12 additional gigabytes on the a15 pro 5g and then an additional eight on the a15 so 16 gigabytes of ram on here and 20 of ram when it comes to the a15 pro 5g so you know they're both going to give you some really good um you know storage on both of these and they're both expandable up to one terabyte so let's go into some of the google apps let's do youtube on the counter three that was the a15 pro let's do the bible app one two three that was the a15 5g pro let's do play store there goes the a15 uh, pro again and then let's try meta one two three so that was a tie let's also do ig and that was the a15 right there so it's actually pretty equal let's also do 
the Prime for the um, Amazon Prime. And that was the A15 Pro. Let's do Amazon, one, two, three. And that was the A15 Pro again. So when it comes to the speeds, definitely some quicker speeds with the A15 Pro 5G. Now, what's really cool is both of these devices run very well when it comes to gaming. So we're gonna get the Dimensity, MediaTek Dimensity 900 on this device right here, the A15 Pro. Let's test out the speakers at full volume. And the picture quality is crazy. It's, it's running clocked in at 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Um, so I was able to get first blood right there. The dual speakers on here are insane. They sound very crispy. So very good response time. Also the 120 Hertz refresh rate is very nice on here. Very beautiful AMOLED panel. So this is the perfect budget phone to game on. It also has 5G uh, frequency. So it's gonna be good when it comes to the speeds on a mobile network and Wi-Fi 6 when you're using the um, Wi-Fi network. So you will get really good speeds on here when it comes to gaming and stuff like that. Now, as far as testing out the A15, it's actually pretty good as well. You will get some pretty decent graphics on here. Um, when you compare it up against the A15 5G Pro, you're gonna notice a big difference when it comes to the game play. It's not as responsive and quick and snappy. Also, you will notice that the 60 Hertz is a little bit slower as well when it comes to the um, movements and everything like that. The next thing I wanted to talk about is that both of these devices do have side mounted fingerprints on the side. So you will have some really good fast fingerprint speeds when it comes to unlocking them. They're pretty much gonna be almost a similar speed. You also do get facial recognition on both. You do notice the punch hole cutout versus the Infinity U cutout like the Samsung, which is gonna be on the A15. So I really like the punch hole cutout on the A15 Pro 5G um, as well. Now, when you get a 16 megapixel camera on the front of the A15 and a 32 megapixel on the A15 Pro 5G, and then on the back of the cameras, you're gonna see that we do get a, a 108 megapixel on the A15 5G Pro and a 64 megapixel on the A15. You're also gonna get a, you know, whopping, you know, 50 megapixel wide angle camera on the A15 5G Pro and an eight megapixel camera on the A15. So it's gonna give you better quality when it comes to the wide angle. And then for the third camera, it's gonna be the macro camera, which is eight megapixels on the 5G Pro and a two megapixel macro on the A15. Another thing I like is the shortcut key on both of these devices. So if I single tap, the uh, shortcut key on the A15 Pro. I'm getting the dual LED flash right there. And then on the A15 um, phone right here, if I just tap it, um, let me just unlock it real quick. But if I could, I tap that, I can get to my single LED. So they both have, you know, really good functionality when it comes to get into your shortcut key. So let's go through all of the features right here so panorama portrait pro mode capture and 64 megapixel as well as video and then you also can choose from more on the a15 now we do get beauty on here video picture 108 portrait and extra which will give us these features right here and so you can kind of see that they implemented the wide angle and also the macro right here, if you click this button, you'll get to your macro. And if you click here, you'll get to your wide angle. So they kind of made it a little bit more functional, gave it a little bit more functionality on the A15 Pro 5G. And then if you go to your settings for video on the A14, A15, you're gonna see 1080, 30 frames per second. Now, if we go into video on the A15 Pro 5G, 
you're going to see that we actually get 4K recording and um, that's going to be in 30 frames per second. And so if we flip it around to the front facing camera, you're going to also notice right here that we get 720 on the front of the A15. Then when you flip it to the front and you go to the video on the A15 Pro, you're going to see that we actually get 4K. So big difference when it comes to recording on front and rear but you will get some really good experiences on both of these phones because I've been using the both of the cameras and I actually have been impressed with both of them. Now you do get a 5,000 milliamp hour battery with faster charging on the A15 Pro 5G. So they're both gonna have similar batteries. The, the battery on the A15 Pro 5G has given me some really good battery. So when I go into the uh, screenshots on this device, let me so show you real quick. As far as the battery life, I was able to get like close to seven hours of screen on time. Their battery life on the A15, it definitely gave me uh, five hours right here. And on the new Medigi A15 5G Pro, it gave me six hours right here um, when I was using it a little bit more in the A15 Pro 5G. So I think the battery is a little bit more optimized when it comes to the Dimensity 900 versus the Unisoc T616 uh, when it comes to battery. So I definitely give it the slight edge to the Umidigi A15 Pro 5G. But let me know what you guys think about both of these devices. Um, you know, I'll definitely leave the cheapest links down below when they're, when the A15 Pro was available for release. And make sure you guys stay locked in for more videos just like this. Let me know what you guys think about this comparison. I definitely think that you are getting better sound quality on the A15 Pro as well as um, display, battery, slightly better cameras as well with the 4K recording and overall performance. So in pretty much every area, the A15 Pro 5G is a little bit better. Not to say that the A15 isn't a good smartphone because I definitely enjoy using it as well. But the A15 5G Pro is just a solid um, flagship device from Umidigi. But let me know what you guys think about this comparison. And if you're still here, just type down below. I'm still here, so I know you're still kicking it with me. And I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people. And I'll check you guys later. I'll hit you back later, crew. Peace.